Hello, welcome to Encouraging Word. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 6. Go ahead and pray. Lord, thank you for this day and for your, uh, for the glory, for the gift you give us of grace and, and salvation and for all our brothers and sisters that we have around us. Please help them and be with them, Lord. Just uh, guide them, protect them, give them your wisdom for, to walk through life. Um, be with uh, all those that are hurting, Lord, and and just touch them and 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 be with them. Just heal them, Lord, and and touch their lives. So just lift them up. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. Amen. So Matthew chapter six verses nineteen through twenty one. Uh, lay up. For yourself treasure lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break in and steal but lay up for yourselves treasure treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust does corrupt where thieves do not break in nor steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also and Psalm 63. Psalm 63, 1. O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsts for Thee, my flesh longs for Thee in a, in a dry land a, and thirsty land where no water is, to see Thy power and Thy glory, so as I have seen in the sanctuary. Because Thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise Thee, Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands on, in thy name. My soul shall, shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. My mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast helped me, Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice, and my soul follows hard after thee. Thy right hand uphold me, upholds me. Uh, as a Christians, we should have a true passion for God. We all need to remember. We we need to we need to have that passion that 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 we want to seek God first thing in the morning. We can't wait to see what he has for us next. That we're thinking about his ways throughout the day. We can get so distracted and easily led astray, but but it's that passion for God that keeps us on that straight and narrow path. It's that passion that keeps us out of the ditch and that passion for God that when we do fall down, we we really truly repent and feel sorry for what we have done. We really see the error of our ways. It's that it's that true passion for God that that true love for God, passion for Him that can keep us keep us going in the right way. We need to encourage each other to have that passion. Encourage each other to seek Him and to and to and to really be with him it can sometimes seem kind of extreme at times but um but that's what god wants we, it, when you have two people that are newly married they have a real passion for one another um that that you see and god desires that passionate heart that loving longing heart he can he can do a lot with someone who who wants to truly be with him and follow him and and go wherever he will lead so
We can encourage each other to have that kind of true passion. Encourage each other to really, and, and really be with each other, to really help each other out. So take care, and, uh, and God bless, and, uh, and have a good day tomorrow, and pray everybody has a, has a good night. Amen.